Hi, and welcome to Wealth Tech Digest, where I cover the weekly happenings in the digital wealth market. My name is Ned Phillips, so let's dive right in. For our first story today, Drivewell secures more venture funding to officially reach a valuation of $2.85 billion. Drivewell is a financial technology company that helps companies build competitors to Robinhood. Recently, the company announced it has raised $450 million in a funding round at a sharply elevated value. The round values the company at about $2.85 billion and will be led by Insight Partners and Excel. The vision groups from SoftBank participated in the round alongside Graham Capital and City Ventures. In addition, existing investors Fidelity International and Stephen Cohen's 0. .72 asset management arm, Venture Arm, funded as well. According to people familiar with the, with the situation, investors are also attempting to buy $300 million in secondary shares from existing shareholders. Drivewell's valuation is up about $200 million last year, one of the people said. 0.72 earns 15% of the company. Drivewell provides tech that allows businesses such as Revolut, Square's Cash App to offer fractional trading. This has been a trend popularized by the new public brokerage firm Robinhood. On the matter, Robert Courtright said it's never been possible for someone in India to buy $20 worth of Amazon with a flick of a finger until today. He added, a lot of people want to replicate the Robinhood model. The advantage of Drive Wealth is that it serves companies instead of Robin Hood's consumer-facing business model. The good news for the VCs back in the company is the company intends to go public fairly soon. We wish them well. For our next story, we look at the wealth industry stride over the past year in providing tech-enabled advice to younger clients in North America. More specifically, this age group is expecting more diversified offerings and more personalized services. In a new report titled The New State of Advice, Accenture drew from a survey of 1,000 advice investors across the U.S. and Canada. The study sample comprised adults from 20 to 93 years old, ranging in personal wealth from less than 250000 to over $10 million. The findings of the survey suggested that advisors may still need to improve when it comes to providing appropriate advice and products just when investors need them. A slight majority of respondents indicated that the advice they get is too generic. Not only that, another 55% of participants believe they could do better by investing on their own. Out of all of those polled, 79% said they expect their investment advisor to also offer banking and insurance products. That number rose to 85% for Gen Xs, 91% for, for millennials, and 97 for Gen Z, compared to less than half for baby boomers. Among these younger investors, 6 in 10 said they had asked their advice about ESG or socially responsible investments. The conclusion is clear. Advisors who want to manage more of their clients' assets must offer diversification and customization, the survey findings suggest. Thank you, as always, for watching Wealth Tech Digest. Again, my name is Ned Phillips, and I'm the CEO of Bamboo. More than 300,000 people are already achieving their financial goals using Bamboo's one easy platform to help streamline portfolio management. 